Here's another nice stick pen. Bearing deals with boats and air uh, airplanes. Uh, it, anything that deals with on the water, it could be submarines, it could be uh, boats, um, or airplanes, or in the air, which is airplanes, balloons, anything that deals with on the air or on the water, uh, namely boats and airplanes, and you're going to be using bearing. And bearing is a little bit different than um, standard position. Here, north, is going to be the zero degree mark. Okay? Going this way is going to be positive, going that way is going to be negative. That's the bearing. Whereas in standard position, here's y, here's x, that's zero degrees right there. Going this way is positive to the up and going down is negative. So it's a little bit different. So whenever you talk about boats on the water or on air, you're going to be looking at bearing, okay? But they have this new different thing system right here. It says north 42 degrees east. This is always your starting point. This is always your end point. So you're starting off north, 42 degrees, and you're going eastbound. So east is always that way. So it's going north, 42 degrees east. Okay. And so we're going to um, do this on a separate piece of paper, maybe. I don't know. Um, draw it out on a separate piece of paper. We don't have enough space here, probably, because it's a pretty big problem. Um, let's just uh, I'll read it first. A boat leaves the floor harbor 25 miles in the direction north, 42 degrees east. The captain then turns the boat 90 degrees and travels another 18 miles south, 48, starting from south, going 48 degrees in the direction east. So that's your starting, that's your ending. At this time, how far is the boat from the harbor entrance? What is the bearing? of the boat from the harbor entrance. So I'm actually going to use a, uh, a new piece of paper for this one, okay? So here's how we start. We always start off at the origin. Call this north. That's east. Draw, draw a nice big guy so that you can kind of see it better too. So it says right here, um, travels 25 miles in the direction north, 42 degrees east. So starting north, you're going 42 degrees in the east direction. It's not quite 45, so I'm going to draw it this way, just a little bit farther, 25 miles. And then you have to reset your bearing at this position right over here. That's your north. Okay. This is a pretty difficult problem. You're going to have to get used to these problems anyway. Reset your bearing. This is the origin right here. You're going to reset it at zero. Now it says, uh, it travels 18 miles in the direction south, 48 degrees east. So starting south, we're going 48 degrees east. So starting south, we're going 48 degrees east. Mm, let's use pink. It's a little bit more than 45 degrees. That's 18 miles. Okay, and uh, I have to put in some units for these two. It's going to be 42 degrees right over here, and this is going to be from south 48 degrees. Where is it? Yep, yeah, 48 degrees right there. And so um, you want to find uh, where he ended up going. He ends up going this way. You need to know what that distance is, as well as the angle that it forms. So let's try to work this out. First of all, we got parallel line cut by transversal. Where is the alternate interior angle of 42 degrees right over here? You have to figure that out. And that parallel line cut by this transversal is going to be right over there, which is going to be 42. And you notice 42 plus 48 is going to give you 90 degrees. For now, they're always going to be right triangles, okay? 42 plus 40 is 90. Notice the right angle that's going to be formed. Don't forget, 42, 42 alternate interior angles to get this to make sure you get the 90 degrees. So what do we do from here? Mm, we have to, if 
find our bearing. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we have to figure out what uh, this angle is right here. Let's call this theta 1. So we are given the opposite and the, and the adjacent. Theta 1 is equal to the tangent inverse of 18 divided by 42. I'm going to use my calculator. Tangent inverse of 18 divided by 42. And that gives me approximately 23 degrees. I could also, okay, so from here, equals approximately 23 degrees. So the total angle that it travels, let's use pink, is 42 plus 23. That's going to be 75. That doesn't seem to be correct. I think the answer was 78. 18 divided by 42. Let me read the question one more time. Number 15. Yep, it's 40 degrees, 48 degrees, uh, 25 miles, 18 miles. 25. Oh, sorry, it is wrong. I um, use your input error. It's supposed to be the tangent inverse of 18 divided by 25. I put 18 divided by 42. User input error, 36 degrees. And then plus. Um, 42 degrees and we get approximately 77 78 degrees I did this so many times with, with my students that you know to remember the answer a little bit that seems to be correct okay so um, how, that's the 78 degrees and we want to find this distance you can use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus B squared equals C squared or most teachers don't want you to use the Pythagorean theorem they want to use they want you to use it, use, um, excuse me, find this length by the um, trig functions. So we have this angle. Um, we can use opposite of hypotenuse. We can use adjacent of hypotenuse as well. So we can, let's just use pick one and choose. Let's use the sine of 36 degrees is equal to 18 over, let's call this x right here. That's what we're looking for, x. And then x is equal to 18 over sine of 36 degrees. So, oh, excuse me, sine inverse. Sine inverse of 18 divided by, no, 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 no. I had it right. 18 divided by the sine of 36. Punch that out. X is approximately 31 feet. Oh, not feet. It's in miles. Okay. That seems to be the correct answer. And the direction for this is we can do it both ways. Starting at north, it's going 78 degrees in the east direction. Or if you go east, starting at east direction, we can go, how many degrees is that? 12 degrees north. So both answers, this is the one they gave in the back of the book. This is also perfectly acceptable. East, starting in the position east, and it's going 12 degrees north, or you can go starting in the position north, going 78 degrees east. Okay? It was a little, rather difficult problem, so I needed some more space for this. 17. I believe odd. Oh, uh, Charles P. McKee might actually be uh, in Santa Barbara somewhere because Lompoc is very familiar with Lompoc and Buelton and Nipomo. I'm pretty familiar with that area too as well because I'm from Ventura. Anyways, Lompoc, California is 18 miles to south of Nipomo. So, some position, I don't know who's where so far. Uh, Lompoc is 18 miles to south of Nipomo. So here's Nipomo, here's Lompoc, and it's 18 miles south, and that makes perfect sense. Uh, it's due east of Lompoc. Buellton is due east of Lompoc. Here's Lompoc, it's due east right there, and that's Buellton. And from Nipomo, south 65 degrees east from Nipomo. So starting from Nipomo, going south, 
65 degrees east from the Pullman. That makes perfect sense. So there it is, 65 degrees. How far is Lompoc from Bilton? How far is Lompoc from Bilton? That's the question we're looking for. You got uh, the adjacent side and you need the opposite side, so you're going to use tangent. Tangent of 65 degrees is equal to opposite. Let's call it x over 18. And so x is equal to 18 times the tangent of 65 degrees. 18 tangent of 65. Uh, gathering that out, that's going to be approximately 39 miles. Not sure if that was the correct answer or not, but that's what I got on my calculator. 18 uh, times tangent 65. 19. A boat travels on a course bearing north 37 degrees 10, 10 minutes. To change the 10 minutes into uh, degrees, just go 10 divided by 60, which is equal to 1 over 6. I know 1 over 6 is 0.16 bar, which is approximately 0.2. So it's going to go north 37.2 degrees west. For 79.5 miles, notice that the boat, so it's going to be on water, which means it's, we're going to go use bearing, of course. How many miles north and how many miles west has the boat traveled? So let's set it up. We always like to start at the origin if possible. Here's east, here's north. So a boat travels uh, on a, a bearing up north, starting at north, 37.2 degrees west. So it's going to go in that direction right here. For 79.5 miles. And then what, what it's asking is how many miles west has it gone? So here's the west direction. And, um, and the north direction is located right over here. That's what we're looking for. Of course, they also give you one more information. North 37.2, so that angle is going to be 37.2 degrees. Okay. Oh, 15 minutes, I have to teach pretty soon. Anyways, so I'm, uh, since I have the hypotenuse, I'm looking for the adjacent signs. I can use cosine. I'll help you do a setup for this one. Cosine of 37.2 degrees is equal to n over 79.5 and you're looking for n and you can do the same thing with the direction for west okay. 21 from point of the floor the angle of elevation to the top of the floor is 47 degrees while the angle of elevation to the ceiling above the floor is 59 degrees oh they actually give you a picture of that so i'm going to draw this picture out for you oh this is a uh, uh is this 21 oh yeah, this isn't too hard of a problem. 23 is a harder problem. So I'm going to start you off with this, and then we'll stop here, and then I'll give you a third part. So it looks something like this. The door is right over here. That distance is 10 feet. And this angle right over here. I'm going to use small markers for this. That's my smaller marker. It's going to be 47 degrees, and for here, it's going to be 59 degrees. And they also give you some other thing. Of course, this is 10 feet. So the floor is perpendicular to the ground. We're assuming that to be true. Um, what is the vertical dimension of the door? You're looking for this value here. And before I stop, I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. Uh, we, from this triangle, you can't find this directly, but from this triangle, you can figure out what this is. Once you figure out what this is, this length from uh, where you're located to the bottom of the door, then you can figure out what the height of a door is uh, by using this triangle. The tangent of that um, side, I mean, excuse me, the tension of 47 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to this side, and you can figure that out from the post, um, top um, triangle. I'll let you stop here, and then we'll start on number 23 later on. Thanks, bye.